For cheap and reliable FIFA coins, go to fifacoinsland.com. What's up guys, I'm Tomal FC Evan and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Mode series. I'm so pumped for this episode. You guys smashed the likes on the previous video. Thank you for your awesome support. It really means a lot to me. Trust me guys, it makes my day reading my your comments, seeing how many likes the, each video gets. It's just the best feeling ever interacting with you guys. So keep commenting which, which is the best young player that you used on carrier mode on FIFA 15. Let me know. And we really need a victory guys. We are four points behind Man United. And also what are your thoughts ahead of the Manchester Liverpool, Manchester United Liverpool game tomorrow? I'm really excited but also nervous before that game and we have a Champions League game against Brundby after this so I'm resting sorry I'm uh, I'm going to play the youth squad in that game but in this game I'm playing my strongest possible lineup let's see how they do we really need a win in the league and also yeah I forgot to show you so yeah Marco Royce is injured he sprained his ankle in the previous game so he's out for three weeks welcome to West Brom Liverpool and this is a must-win game, guys, because Tottenham are, are playing Chelsea, so two of our big title rivals playing each other. And there is no face cam for this episode because uh, I'm I'm having a date with my girlfriend later today, so I'm recording this in advance. And I just don't have time to edit a face cam episode, the second one for today. Oh, brilliant! Oh, go on. Lacazette is through. And it's offside. Oh, I was about to pull the trigger, man. Go on. Oh, that's a dirty foul. Ref. Oh, Sterling is injured. How is that not a... There we go, ref. Book him. Sterling was hagged. Down. And I bet he will be out for a long time. That was a nasty tackle. Gone, boy, you dirty prick. Ooh, oh, damn. Oh. Sturridge, smash it! Sturridge! <laughs> what a hit, son. Bang! Back of the net. That was a clinical bullet. Of a rocket of a shot by Daniel Sturridge. When he's on his left foot, he's deadly. What a finish. Goalkeeper, no chance. Got him. Brilliant goal. Get in Sturridge. Oh, no, 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 no. Dorans is away. Oh, please clear it. No! What a save, Mignolet. Amazing. That was brilliant. Go on, Sterling. Nice one. Come on! This could be it. Sterling! Oh! Oh! We could have been 1-1, one, one. it could have been 2-0, it stays at 1-0, but what a sequence of events, and that's very, very close by Sterling. Ooh, good save, Mignolet. So let's make three subs. Uh, Tillemans is uh, going off with Henderson and... Uh, Basically, Emre Can, Markovic and Lalana coming on. Get in there, boys. What a hard fought, difficult victory this was. But uh, I'm, I'm relieved because it was a very even game. Very few chances. So as you can see, we have done it. But only just. Only just. Whew. This is not good news at all. So Sterling is also out for three weeks with a sprained ankle. But it's kind of realistic, you know, that we keep getting uh, injuries in this carrier mode because that's what happens in real life in football. Most teams have five, six, seven injuries at the same time. And I wanted to show you the Youth Academy because they, finally this season the Youth Academy is not glitched. The EA had some mercy on me and they allowed me to actually actually uh, get into the youth academy without the game crashing and we have some big big talents uh, here for example this guy Edward Lee Rios his potential is very good and his overall is already pretty decent but I'm waiting for the May update to promote them promote them when you promote the player youth academy players after the May the first update their overall goes up so their overall 
increases and this guy I will definitely promote him he could be our future first choice goalkeeper or maybe this guy we have two goal goalkeepers in the youth academy who, who are both promising this guy has better overall but lower potential a little bit but this guy has really good potential I mean imagine if he turns out to be a 90 rated goalkeeper that would be just amazing so yeah, these are the youth academy prospects and can't wait to promote them. And also in the January transfer window, I will try to send out uh, some of the youngsters on loan. But in the next game, in the next episode, tomorrow, the, the Br in the Brunby game, I will play the, the youth squad. So here is the, the squad report and uh, Nkulu and Shar both went up in, in the ra their ratings. Shar just improved lately by two so he's now 83 rated player it was a good decision to sell martin skirtal because uh, now Shar has a lot can get a lot of game time and uh, skirtal was only an 82 rated defender so already in like half a season Shar outgrew martin skirtal which i'm very very happy about and i think the player of the season so far has been daniel storage banging in the goals left right and center so very happy and Lacazette, the new signing, what a debut season is having, 6 goals and 8 assists for a striker, that's amazing. To get 8 assists in just 18 games, that's that's really really brilliant. And yeah, all the, all the young players are growing very nicely, so I will play Skufe in the, in the next game against Brundby. And yeah, I'm very happy with the squad. And the youth academy players are growing even though I can't really play them a lot because, uh, you know, they are just 70, 72 rated. But maybe against Brunby I will take uh, some of the youth academy players and put them into the starting game. And also these guys will play very soon uh, because they are back from their short loan spells. So I think this, the future is bright and we have some really big, big talents at our club. So can't wait to use them all and just give the young players a chance. And yeah, Royce, I hope he's back very soon. He's fit in 11 days because we, we will need him back now that Sterling is injured. But we have a good squad, a, a big squad, so we can deal with injuries and suspensions. No problem. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to smash the likes if you enjoyed this episode. See you later. Have a nice day. Goodbye.